Welcome to the Haptic RS90 Getting Started Guide. In this video, we'll show you how to connect your RS90 for the first time and link it with your Haptic user account via the Haptic Config app. Begin by connecting your RS90 to an active Wi-Fi network. Once updated to the latest version, a QR code will appear on the screen. This ensures that Haptic is ready to connect with your user account. The green indicator confirms Wi-Fi is connected to the internet. Also, download the Haptic Config app from the App Store or Google Play. Open the app and sign in using your Haptic account. You can create one easily with your Google, Apple, or email ID. Tap the scanner icon in the Config app to open the QR scanner, then point it toward the QR code displayed on your RS90. A four-digit PIN will appear on the RS90 screen. Enter it into the Config app to complete pairing. Your RS90 is now successfully connected. What comes next is Device Pool, where you bring all your devices together. Now we'll learn how to proceed. Click the plus icon in Device Pool and then tap the plus on the bottom navigation bar. Let's add our first infrared device by choosing Plus Arrow Infrared. Select the device category. We'll choose TV, then search for or locate your brand. Follow the on-screen instructions. You'll see an IR file with all available commands listed. Make sure you've selected the Haptic that's connected to this account. On the Haptic, go to Settings, Pair IR Device. Now you're ready to test the IR commands shown to you. Once you're confident the IR file works, click Add Device. There's also an option to create a sequence, which we'll skip for this tutorial. That's it. The device is now added to Device Pool. Let's create a room to host this device. A room supports icon grid and list views for devices and macros, and you can set a custom background. Choose the haptique units where this room should be available. One room can be shared with many haptiques. Enter the room by tapping it. You'll see the selected grid. Each icon can host a device or a macro. Add the device from the device pool. Choose an icon from the available list and save your setup. On the haptic, press sync. If your room is mapped to this haptic, it will appear here. You'll find the list view, which you can switch to grid view at any time. Each room can use either view. To control the added device, simply tap it and use the keypad. Keys are pre-mapped by default. For detailed controls with UI, long press on the device. The layout is fixed for now and will gain custom options in future updates. You can control the selected device with touch and keypad simultaneously. Back to the room view, long press the return back button. Thanks for watching your first tutorial about the Haptic system. This is the first video in the series. Next. Let's explore more room functions and how to configure them.